My name is Amarna Miller. I am in a relationship. He works in a job totally out of porn industry. <laughs> oh, he's happy about what I do. I mean, I do like... I am in pornography because it's something that I really enjoy, so he's happy when I do things that make me happy. I think the point about jealousy is understand from where does it come from and how to manage it. I think we all feel jealousy at one point or another of our lives um, because jealousy is something that uh, they have teach us during years to feel, even if it's not a healthy thing, but they, the romantic ideal of love tells you that if you love someone, that person has to be yours. And that feeling of possessivity that they teach you uh, creates uh, jealousy. So I think the right question is not if he feels jealous or not. The question is, does he manage his jealousy? And the answer is yes, uh, in the same way that I do it, even if he is not in porn. So yeah, my partner and I have a polyamorous relationship. That means basically that we don't have either sexual or emotional exclusivity one with another. And even if I wouldn't work in this business, even if I wouldn't be a porn actress, we will have the same kind of relationship because this is the, uh, the model that works for us. Um, in my side, I believe that uh, I believe that love is a thing very complicated to find. I really enjoy to be in love and to like other people uh, in a sexual way, but also in a romantic way. I enjoy to feel, you know, butterflies on your stomach. You say that in Spanish. I don't know if you say it in English, like mariposas en el estómago. So if that's a feeling that it's obviously nice and good and makes you feel awesome, why are you going to limit it for one person for the rest of your life. I don't perform anything on camera that I don't enjoy in my personal life because I believe my sexuality is something very fragile. I mean, my sexuality and the sexuality of everybody is something very intimate for each one of us and you don't want to break it. So my number one rule for being a porn actress is that I only do on camera the things that I really like in my personal life. So that could kind of answer your question. Uh, with my partner, I do everything that I do on camera, plus a lot of things that they don't let me do on camera, but I really like, you know, because in the end, porn is very reduced. The options that you have are the mainstream options. Okay, I'm gonna go step by step. Uh, first, what things what things do I enjoy to do uh, on camera and behind the camera? Um, for me, the main thing when I'm shooting, but also in my personal life, is to create a link with the other person, to get engaged with the other person so for me my number one top thing that i like in bed is kissing and i know that i'm a very bad a porn actress for answering this because people expect you to say oh yeah i really like reverse cowboy when my leg is here but no i really like kisses i think kisses uh, really help to create a, a, a a nest of, of like sexual desire uh, so that's my number one thing that I enjoy um, in more like sex terms um, I pretty like to uh, try everything I like to expand my horizons in bed so talking about like you know porn terms I like vaginal and I also like anal I don't do anal on camera though so that's one thing that I have to go there um, I like uh, I like people I enjoy to like get into people and create this this like link porn is mainly done for a broad audience for a mainstream audience and i find it kind of hypocritical that things that are totally normative in porn like for example gangbangs or anal or like double vaginal that things are something normative in porn are not but are not in our like daily lives i would say i much more explorative i don't even know if that's a word in english <laughs> but i i really like to push the horizons of my sexuality and try to do and try to experiment new things that i haven't tried before and i think in that aspect my partner is more like vanilla more like you know he knows the things that he likes and he's fine about trying something new but he doesn't have like a craving uh, uh need for like being challenging himself all the time i am that person i, I really like to be out of my comfort zone i haven't if I haven't tried something, I really want to try it. So I think in that aspect, we are different, but it's, I mean, we, compli co we mm, compliment now. <laughs> we do like a nice match together. I am into a lot of fetishes. I also have to say that uh, I feel during a lot, of, a lot of years, I have been like mm, 
discover new things and since like about one year ago I'm pretty stable with the things I like uh, I'm really into BDSM I am really into um, we were talking about that before into like golden showers and all that part of sex that people don't talk about um, I like things that are dirty I like to to enjoy the other person and I like to you know to sweat to like get dirty when you are having sex that's like the sex that really matters I really like fluids in sex fluids include like drooling and also includes like semen and also includes like squirting and it also includes pee because pee is another kind of fluid so I think it's something uh, sexy and hot that comes out of your body and that I don't know that's nice porn has done something very wrong uh, basically in pornography uh, pornography teaches that uh, certain things are normative for example anal or a double vaginal or gambang or like a bukkake all the things are normal inside of porn normativity but then there are other things inside of the porn tags or the porn yeah the porn like semantic that uh, have a stigma uh, for example BDSM for example uh, sex with transsexuals for example golden showers for example um, big beautiful women all these things that are part of our sexuality and that in fact are way much more normative than a double anal penetration are seen in porn as something that is weird, that is bizarre, that is, uh, it must be rejected. And we see it very easily in the tags when you enter like a porn company or a porn website and you see the tags, um, something that really hurts me, for example, TS porn usually is in the bizarre category, you know, in the weird thing, when TS porn is like as normative as any other kind of porn but this way of uh, talking about it creates a stigma and what happens when we take all this that we are learning in our uh, daily lives and we enjoy things that are not inside of this fake normativity then we think that what we we'll enjoy is wrong or that we will like that what we like is not it's not a good thing you know if you like BDSM for example I'm a masochist my first idea about what what means to be a masochist is I am sick I have a problem because I have pleasure when someone hits me so I have a problem it's something that is wrong inside of me when it's something when it's a play it's a game you know you learn this over the years but the first reaction is like I'm doing something wrong and that's just because everybody has to teach you that there's a way there's a right way to enjoy your sexuality and there's a wrong way to enjoy your sexuality and we have to like put all that borders out and start just doing whatever we want to mm -hmm.